on TV7. We want you to stay tuned. You're going to be seeing, uh, well, a one-on-one that we had scheduled. We were going to be uh, talking to the general manager of WMC TV, Ron Clayman, was supposed to be here for the show, and something has happened. I don't know. We're kind of still waiting for him to arrive, but if he doesn't, we're going to have him here via magic of videotape or something. We can do that, can't we? Yes. Uh, because we want to talk and let Ron talk about the big, uh, well, this is the 10-year anniversary of championship wrestling here at Channel 5. And so Ron's going to be around to talk about that one way or the other. We are also going to be talking with uh, some of the wrestling fans that you got to meet here last week uh, that were on the show, and they were down from Philadelphia. They're going to be, we're going to be checking in with some of them about their observations on Memphis wrestling. And uh, let's see, what else we got? Well, we're going to be hearing from Kurt Henning, the AWA World Heavyweight Champion, who I'm going to be going against tomorrow night. We'll be telling you all about that big Super Tour 87, which is going to be in Memphis at the Mid-South Coliseum uh, tomorrow. Also, we're going to check in on, and you're going to love this, a, I don't know if this shows you, a wrestling priest. You hear that? A wrestling priest. Uh, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you just a little bit. The guy is from down in Mexico. You're going to see footage of him actually wrestling. And, uh, of course, as I said, he is also a priest. And we're going to see how these two careers uh, intermingle a little bit later on in the show. So stay with us. we got a lot of show. We're going to be right back with it after these words. <laughs> A lot of entertainment come and go in Memphis, but some of the best is here to stay. Memphis Cablevision. And the one that's here to stay is VH1, the one for you. The one where the stars come out 24 hours a day. Rock and roll to the latest, hottest hits. Dance till dawn with R&B chart busters. And cuddle up with your favorite someone to romantic classics. <laughs> Memphis Cablevision brings entertainment on home. Crystal Lovers, Cowboy Sid, and she of the fire breathing one horse. Here with Crystal's free hot deal coupon book. This one with savings of over $28 on Crystal Food and loads more. Trade these coupons to Crystal, save over $3 on great eating, and take these coupons to service merchandise and save big on all of these. Best of all, we'll show them, Sheila. Crystal's hot deal coupon book is free. So blaze the trail to Crystal and pick up your free coupon book. <laughs> Whoa, it's hot. This month at the Furniture Center, you can build your own old-time bedroom at unbelievable savings. This back-home collection from Vaughn is a true value because it's expertly handcrafted of oak solids and veneers to assure you of many years of enjoyment. Choose from items like the spindle bed, door bureau, oval mirror, and much more. And with prices starting at just $89, you can build the bedroom you've always wanted at savings you've never dreamed possible. So come to the Furniture Center during this sale and save. $4,000 guaranteed trade-in. Push, pull, or tow your trade-in to Covington Pike Toyota. Get $4,000 guaranteed trade-in allowances on Toyota trucks, cargo vans, passenger vans, land cruisers, and forerunners. Own any new Toyota car, truck, or van for nothing down. Nothing down. $159 a month with approved credit, and you own a new Toyota Corolla. Come in today during this factory-authorized Covington Pike Toyota exclusive all-out Toyota sellout. Covington Pike Toyota, America's number one volume Toyota dealer in 49 states. Okay, we are back on the show now, and as I said earlier, this is a very special week here at uh, Channel 5, and especially for myself, being involved with championship wrestling, because uh, this particular week, championship wrestling has been associated with and affiliated and on TV here on Channel 5 for 10 years, and uh, I guess I was on the very, very first show that uh, when, when we were on Channel 5 here, and uh, it was on yesterday also, and so uh, we've had many, many great years in between that time. And right now, the general manager of WMC Studios is Ron Clayman, and there was a little segment on with Ron yesterday and uh, Eddie Marlin, uh, awarding Ron a little plaque. And without any further ado, we're going to go back and check on that little situation from yesterday. You know, Lance, it's been a 10 great years. We've enjoyed it, and the fans out there enjoyed it. Uh, they get to see what's on this side of the camera and everything looks fine and good but on the other side of the camera it's a lot of hard work and we'd like to get the man out here that is responsible for that I, I think it's a very good idea the general manager of wmc tv mr ron clayman ron here's the gentleman that we not hey ron good to see you partner appreciate you coming out here with us thank you, Would you like Eddie? thank you for 10 years 
And this is presented to WMC TV and Ron Kramer, general manager, for 10 years of loyalty and cooperation and the production of championship wrestling. And well, we Eddie, want to thank you very, very much. Thank you. Uh, I'm very pleased to accept this, uh, particularly on behalf of our people here who make the show work every week. Uh, Dave and Lance and the production crew and the engineers and technicians. Uh, it's really nice to have this, and uh, we look forward to many, many more years of doing championship wrestling on Saturday afternoons. Let's uh, say like a hundred years. We all love uh, <laughs> I also want to say that part of this whole thing in the 10 years is uh, going to culminate Monday night in the Super Tour 87 at the Coliseum, and you guys have put together a great event, and I hope everybody will come out. Dave will be there. Lance will be there. Uh, a lot of people will be there, and it ought to be a great night. There's a great card, and uh, we're really looking forward to seeing everybody out there. So come on out and have a good time Monday night. We'll see you out there as a matter of fact. I'd like to say one quick thing. I'm in the unique position of working for both companies, TV5 and Championship Wrestling, and I see the cooperation between management. Thank you. I think the fans benefit. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good time, everybody. Okay, Ron Klamer. That is Ron Klamer, and he is going to be sitting ringside. That's right. I can't... Oh, oh, oh. I wonder what happened, Bob, if the action spilled over as the throw somebody gets thrown into Ron's lap. I can't wait. It's going to be Monday night, WMC night. A lot of the uh, Channel 5 personalities are going to be down there, and so we want to see you there, too. Uh, Dave Brown, of course, Lance Russell is always there. And some other people, I think, are going to drop by. We hope so, and we hope you're there, too. Now, uh, of course, that you just the video you just saw there was from one day ago, and as I said, wrestling's been on Channel 5 for 10 years. What we're going to do right now is we're going to take you back Ten years uh, to one of the very first shows, and as if, if this is sort of a wrestling trivia question, I don't know if you remember the two announcers that were on the show at first when wrestling first came to Channel Five. It was not Lance Russell and Dave Brown; they were still at another station. It was, do you remember, Clay Conrad and Bob Young? Bob Young that's right, and they were the first announcers. And then it took a couple of weeks, but then the Lance Russell came over to Channel Five, and uh, followed by Dave Brown. And we're going to go back ten years now and take a look at this piece of video from the day that Lance Russell arrived at Channel 5. As ladies and gentlemen, ugly and uglier just arrived. Mm. Now why, why do you want to come out? I knew you couldn't stand it. What you've done, you've wallowed in obscurity ever since we left that other station and you couldn't stand it. Why do you come out and try to tell these people you've been fishing and hunting? You've been sitting glued in front of that television to Channel 5 watching me out here make a bigger star out of myself and you're realizing that the people are forgetting about you and that's why you're here today. Yeah, tell the truth. No, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you the exact truth. One of the hesitations I had of coming back here was the fact that I knew I was going to have to listen to that mouth that hadn't gotten any smaller. Yeah, tell that to all those rednecks out there because I know better, but it is good to see that nose again. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Lance looks a lot older now, doesn't he? Look, <laughs> eyes look better. I don't know. But anyway, that was 10 years ago. It's good to look back at some of that stuff. And we're really uh, fortunate and want to thank all the fine people here at Channel 5 for having us around for 10 years and hope we're here another 10 years. And I'll tell you what we want to do right now. We want to take a look at some of the action that is going to be coming up on WMC Night Channel 5 at the Mid-South Coliseum. Tomorrow night, Super Tour 87, and here's some of the participants you're going to see. Super Tour 87 comes to the Coliseum, and you'll be seeing the AWA World Heavyweight Champion. The Heavyweight Champion of the World! And Robert Hill, Minnesota, 247 pounds!
only way Southern Tag Titles will be at stake when Pat Tanaka and Paul Diamond defend against the team of Jeff Jarrett and Billy Travis. Super Tour 87, that's what it took. You boys finally mustered up enough guts to face Pat Tanaka and Paul Diamond. Bad company. Well, boys, the time has come. We're going to take you apart piece by piece. In addition to those great matches, you'll be seeing the Australian shootout with Bill Superstar Dundee and George Bard. You'll be seeing Mick Snow and Kevin Kelly, many, many other stars all coming to you on the Super Tour 87. Ticket prices, five, seven, and ten dollars. That's it. That's tomorrow night. And as you saw, the AWA World Heavyweight Champion is Kurt Henning, temporarily. We're going to hear a couple words from Kurt right now. Kurt Hennig and the AWA on tour. Now we're headed down south to Tennessee. Jerry Lawler, the number one contender for the AWA Heavyweight Championship belt. Well, Mr. Lawler, I heard you're the greatest wrestler that the South has ever seen. I've heard that you're the greatest technician. I've heard that you've beaten Nick Bockwinkle, and that's why you are the number one contender for the Heavyweight Championship of the world. Well, Jerry Lawler, this is my first time coming down towards the Southway, and I'm looking very forward to coming down. For the simple reason, I have one thing to prove to the people of the world and of the AWA, that Kurt Hennig is the true AWA heavyweight champion of the world. And no, there won't be any Zabiscos, and there won't be anybody in my corner. I've trained hard, I've worked hard to accomplish what I have. And Jerry Lawler, your test is coming soon, so I want you to be ready, be in the best shape of your life, because Kurt Hennig, the heavyweight champion of the world, is headed to Tennessee, the greatest wrestler of all time. And uh, we hope to make his play, uh, his stay here very, very unpleasant. That's Kurt Henning, the AWA World Heavyweight Champion. He's going to be here tomorrow night. And uh, I'm going to try my best to take that belt away from him. We want you to stay because we're going to be back with more of the show right after these words. The mental demands on you are very, very severe. Just automatically, you get off the edge and you get a headache. And uh, there's nothing you can do about it. It just happens. That's the reason we always keep some goodies in. Because goodies gets rid of a headache in a hurry. And when you work for a living, there are times when you really need that. Living each day to the fullest can have its risks. Minor illnesses, cuts or sprains, even broken bones. So at Eastwood Hospital, my colleagues and I staff the emergency department 24 hours a day. Our goal is to provide quality treatment promptly, courteously, so you recover quickly and get back to the things in life you enjoy. Take care of that arm now. I will. Thanks, Dr. Evans, and thanks, Eastwood. Eastwood Hospital. We're ready 24 hours a day. Have you noticed Memphis is on the move, wide awake, people moving faster, having more fun? It may be because more Memphians are discovering fantastic Restonic mattresses from Fleming's. Fleming's is so sure you'll sleep better and feel better on a Restonic orthotonic mattress that will give you a free 30-day home trial, no questions asked, plus a written 20-year quality warranty. And here's the icing on the cake. Buy now during Fleming's blowout birthday sale and get the Mid-South's lowest guaranteed prices. Join the party at Fleming's, Restonic did. Well, are you excited about the Hayes Super Warehouse Foods grand opening in West Memphis on Thursday? Yeah, but there's a problem. Problem? But there'll be prizes and low, low grocery prices at all three stores. Yeah, but I want Hayes Super Warehouse, man, at the West Memphis store. No problem. And in Paragool. And in Jonesboro. But no man can be in three places at the same time. But Hayes Super Warehouse, man, can. Can one man be in three stores at once? Only time will tell. We are back on the show now, and as we said uh, earlier, we talked to some of the wrestling fans who journeyed down here last week from all the way from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and they were here to see wrestling in the Mid-South area. They had heard a lot about it, and uh, I think a group of almost 50 of the fans came down here and, and spent three days. They saw wrestling in Jackson, Tennessee, and in Nashville. They saw our television shows produced here, and then, of course, they saw the wrestling at the Mid-South Coliseum on Monday night, and here's some of their comments about our wrestling. Okay, folks.
first of all, give us your name. Tim Ullman. Okay, Tim, where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia. Okay, what do you think of the wrestling here in this area? Oh, I think it's great. It's been very fast-paced, a lot of action. The fans are really into it. They don't waste any time in between the matches, and uh, the wrestlers are very good that you have down here. I, it's hard for me to believe that you have it every weekend here and you get this kind of turnout and this quality every week. It's great. Hey, your name? Eric Levinson. Okay, Eric, where are you from? Hey, uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay, Eric, what do you think of the wrestling in this area? I think it's great. It just all can't be summed up in one word. This is just like, this is real wrestling. This is just the best. Okay, who do you, uh, who do you enjoy the most watching down here? Uh, Pat Tanaka. Okay, your name? Jamie Ward. Okay, Jamie, where are you from? Uh, Philadelphia. Okay, from Philadelphia. You're down here with the group touring around. Uh, what do you think of the wrestling here in the South? It's great down here. Uh, really nothing like any place else. And it's non-stop action. Before you know it, one match ends, the next match begins. Okay, you have uh, you saw the studio wrestling as well as wrestling at the arenas. Uh, how, how does that compare to the wrestling up north? Well, it's much better than up north. Um, it's more slow, as I said, a lot slower paced up north, and, but down here, it's non-stop, it's wild, the fans are really into it, it's the best. Okay, we think so too, and uh, we want to thank those guys for their comments, and we thank Ken Parnell for interviewing those guys too, he did a good job there. Now, we're going to give you uh, a complete rundown of some more of the fast-paced action that you're going to be seeing. It's tomorrow night, Mid-South Coliseum, 8 o'clock, and this is... Uh, WMC TV Five Night. It's Super Tour 87. There you see the ticket price is $10, $7, and $5 general admission. And boy, here's what you're going to see. Nine big matches in all, starting off with Big Bubba and Goliath. <laughs> wow, what a pair they turn out to be. They're going to be going against the Moon Dogs. Now, I hope these four beat each other's brains out. That would be great to get rid of the whole, all four of them in one match. But I, I, I love those kind of matches. Then the Nasty Boys are going to be going up against Mark Starr and Alan West. And boy, these Nasty Boys are quite a combination. Big tag team match. <laughs> and then uh, John Paul takes on King Carl Fergie. Boy, a lot of kings running around here, isn't it? I even saw Muhammad Ali king, uh, crowning uh, Mike Tyson king the other day. Uh, too many kings, that's all I know. We've got to get rid of some of these guys. Then an international title match. George Barnes against Bill Dundee. He's putting the International Heavyweight Championship on the line and uh, against his former partner. George Barnes should be a super match there. And this is not going to be just wrestling. I mean, anything goes in this match. Then a couple of guys that are going to be coming from, uh, down from uh, the Minneapolis area. Mitch Snow, young, good-looking guy, and he's going to be going against Kevin Kelly, who's a, uh, this guy reminds me of Hulk Hogan, big, big, blonde-headed guy, and uh, this should be a super match. they got quite a few going in the AWA. Then we got the, well, <laughs> Black Prince, and he's going to be going against Rocky Soul Man Johnson. Brickhouse Brown, I mean, he, go he could get uh, all of his plans brought to a screeching halt right here in this match because I know how Rocky feels about Brickhouse, and uh, that should be a super battle right there. Then we got the AWA World Tag Team title match. Uh, and I don't even know how to pronounce these guys' names. The, the Russian team of Boris Zukov and Solda Ustinov, they're the champions right now. They're going to be going against DJ Peterson and Wahoo McDaniels. And boy, you talk about a, a tough team, especially Wahoo. This guy's been around a long time. Used to, Wahoo used to play with the New York Jets and the Denver Broncos, believe it or not. Uh, was a tough linebacker. Anyway, uh, he is uh, now, of course, uh, very famous wrestler, and they're going to be in Memphis to go try to take those AWA World Tag Team titles away from the Russians. Then we got the AWA Southern Tag Team title match, in which Pat Tanaka and Paul Diamond put their belts back on the line against the team that, well, if you want to call it, that they won the belt from. Uh, you know, they were just out and out stolen is what it was. Anyway, Jeff Jarrett and Billy Travis get a chance to get the belts back. No moon dog as a referee in this particular match. It's going to be right down the line, AWA sanctioned Southern Tag Team title match. That should be a good one. And then, well, there it is, the World Heavyweight title match. Uh, we've been talking about it for quite a while now. It was tough enough to get by Nick Bockwinkle, but that put me as the number one contender, and, and these World Championship shots are beginning to get few and far between, so you got to make the best of them, and this could possibly be the last time I get a shot at this. So with the help of all the fans here in Memphis, we're looking to bring that World Heavyweight Championship belt uh, right here to Tennessee and let the people in Memphis see it change hands right at the Mid-South Coliseum. That's the Super Tour, 87, 8 o'clock tomorrow night at the Mid-South Coliseum. You'll see all that action. Hi, I'm Jerry Lawler, and this is my mother's house, and she loves it. And because I love her, I had maintenance-free, beautiful vinyl siding installed on her house and where well, you can see the results. 
I'm so sold on this product that I've put together a team of the most professional, experienced people in this area to form King Lawler's Siding and Windows. And we want to bring the same sort of pride and peace of mind that this job created to all my friends throughout the Mid-South. And we have terms available to fit any budget, and we have a product which guarantees a lifetime of security and beauty. And you also have the King's personal guarantee that I won't sell or install any product that I wouldn't have on my own house or even my mother's. So call right now, 901-767-7843 for a free, no-obligation estimate by the professionals at King Lawler Siding and Window. You get a lifetime guarantee, easy terms, so call right now. Thanks, Mom. All right, and thank you. Tell you what we want to do right now. <laughs> this, I love this name, Father Tormenta. Does that sound uh, pretty sinister? Well, this guy's not all that sinister, as a matter of fact, because he is a priest, wrestling priest, from Mexico. Check this out. This girl's coming of age is a big event in a small town. Turning 15 is marked with music and prayer. Father Sergio Gutierrez blesses the occasion. And when the prayers are over, the townspeople go to see their priest on a different mission. Father Sergio becomes Father Tormenta, which means Father Storm. He's been wrestling for 15 years, not for kicks, but for money to take care of 86 homeless children. Some of them abandoned, some runaways, some children of prostitutes. The priest gets $30 a match, and it costs him almost that much to care for the children each day. I'm fighting for a cause, not because I like to get punched. No one likes to get knocked down, but I see it as a way to feed my kids. The priest's popularity goes beyond the pulpit. When Father Tormenta takes a beating, his fans get into the act, defending him. When he started wrestling 15 years ago, Father Tormenta had trouble convincing his superiors that a man of the cloth could also be a man of the mat. I was afraid the community might turn against him, but that has not been the reaction at all. He is serving God in his own way. Father Tormento's way has kept the children nobody wants off the street. One of the orphans says, if it wasn't for him, I'd be a drug addict and doing other bad things. If it wasn't for Father Tormenta, I wouldn't be here. And so, Father Tormenta continues his dual roles, doing God's work and fighting for his kids at the same time. There he is, Father Tormenta. I'd hate to wrestle against that guy. How could you hit a priest, huh? That would be tough. But anyway, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to come back and see some more hitting, kicking, punching, gouging, and all those things in just a couple of minutes. So you stay with us.
The NFL is coming. The St. Louis Football Cardinals and the Kansas City Chiefs bring professional football to our newly expanded Liberty Bowl. And as your official TV station for this game, TV5 invites you to be a part of this historic event. For tickets, call 272-1214 or 278-4747. And join us in the Liberty Bowl September 6th when the St. Louis Football Cardinals and the Kansas City Chiefs bring the NFL to the Mid-South. Just when you thought that summer was as hot as it could possibly get, along comes the hottest furniture event of the season, Haverty's August Show and Sale. So hot, it sizzles. Haverty's August Show and Sale features refreshing new decorating ideas for your entire home, all at exceptional summer savings. Plus, buy now and make no down payment during the hottest event of the season, Haverty's August Show and Sale. Haverty's makes it home. Okay, we are back on the show now, and I want to quickly mention that this afternoon, today at 1 o'clock in South Haven, Mississippi, we are going to have a great softball doubleheader. Lawler's Army is going to be in action, so come on down there. They put together an all-star team. You guys should be ashamed of yourself. They've got ringers from all over the country going to try to beat the King's Army this afternoon, 1 o'clock in South Haven, so come on out there. And don't forget, stay tuned, NFL football, it's back right here today. Denver Broncos going against the uh, Rams in over in London. That's at noon today. And right now, here's some action. You're going to be seeing a lot more of this. This is a brand new video uh, that Ken Parnell put together called Only the Strong Survive. Here we go. That's all the time we have for today's show. Thank you for being here. I want to clean this table off because next week, right here, I'm going to sit the AWA World Heavyweight Championship belt. And I want you to be there to see me win it tomorrow night at the Coliseum. Bye-bye, everybody. Tomorrow morning on TV5, enjoy Donahue at 9 and Oprah Winfrey at 10. Two full hours of conversation. Keep up with the people and topics all America is talking about by tuning in to America's favorite talk show personality, both every weekday morning on TV5. Super Tour 87 comes to the Coliseum on Channel 5 night, Monday, August the 10th. First time the world champion Kurt Hennig defends the title against the king, Jerry Lawler. You'll see the world tag champion Boris Bolkoff and Alex Murdoch defending against the legendary Wahoo McDaniels and DJ Peterson. The Australian shootout with Bill Dundee and George Barnes. Steve, Jeff Garrett and Billy Travis, Mitch Snow, Kevin Kelly, and many, many more. Nine bouts at all, Super Tour 87.